Hey guys, it's Trice here, starting off with Mon Bazoo, if I'm saying this right, and this game is an early access, which is basically the My Summer Car of Canada. And it's made by a single developer, and it's also published by himself, by the name of Santa Goat. I believe this game will cost you $12 if you were to buy this off of Steam, so let's just get on going and see what we got here. We got a change shirt. Let's start off with blue today, so I'm using the control right now, and... Well, there you go, you got a, a blue shirt that just, just changed the top, so... Open up the door and see what we got here. A broken-ass bathroom door. Fix us up here, man. And if I double-check, I think you go into pause menu. Yeah, location, East Canada, of the spring of 2005, of a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what do we got in the bathroom? We got a knob. No water, not implemented yet. And deep fryer. Zero curds, cheese, and 0% french fries. Okay, and french fry cutter. You're missing the frying basket and the deep fryer. Well, whatever. So, on the top right portion of the screen, we got the maple syrup, poutine, energy, and anxiety. So, we got less needs compared to my summer car. So, just maple syrup and poutine, which I believe we go up here. This is our poutine and hit E to use, but we'll save that until later. So, close this bad boy up. The fridge is our maple syrup and a single container of poutine right here. Well, same thing with maple syrup, not needed just yet. And we got an old ass computer. No electricity, which I believe there is a generator out there, which will turn it on a little bit later. So if I get out of here, here is our project car, D. What is this? The Koenig, a wannabe BMW M3 E46. Yeah, so we got ourselves a BMW and our work truck right here. Looks like a 80s, like GMC Sierra Chevy C10 or something up in here. Not too bad of a truck, but... Same suitable for this time period, which, um... Let me go into shack here, which I believe there are some tools and some other things to get this car going. Which we're gonna do right here, add to do debut, intermediate, and sugar shack. Well, these two are new. I seen gameplay videos of just the- Whoa, what the hell? What did I- Okay, instant step up by just jumping on the gas can. <laughs> so the only to-do list I see here was this here debut to-do, not the other two, which I see gameplay videos of this a while ago. So first things first, how do I zoom in? It's D-pad up and whoa, use the um, use the tool adjustable spanner to screw a bolt. We'll install a wheel, let's get the wheel going here. So rusted wheel. All right, hit square to do so and rush on over and how do we get this? Just like that. So now we grab the spanner and get this here spanner out and hit E to use. Is there going to be a bolt that exists on here or no? Let's see, crouch down and whoa, whoa, the sensitivity. Uh, no. We gotta grab ourselves a bolt. We need the big boy bolt up in here. So we got the 12 millimeter bolt, or let's do 20. I believe it's a 20 that goes on to the tire from right. So is it a 20? No. I think it's a 12 millimeter, I believe. Either I'm doing this incorrectly, or is it really a 12? Okay, hold square. Puts that in. Right so. Yeah. Yeah! One item has been checked. What is that? The first one, screw in a bolt. Well, let's screw in the rest of the bolts right now. Well, I do give credit, me being a controller user, not the freaking keyboard and mouse user, because, well, I'm too lazy. Well, hold the square button, which is the left click. I could screw in a bolt as is, which, hold on. Let me try to do the mouse. Oh, you still hold down. Yeah. So what do we got here? Just put on a tire on the Koenig? Yes, we do. Install the valve cover, which the valve cover is right here. So we got to open up the engine up in here. So handle. Handle. Is it because I got a spanner in place? Let's see. Get out of here. Handle. Oh, you can't do two in one. That's kind of stupid. Hood release. Bang. And get out of seat right here. So open up the hood. Damn, it's a rust ass engine. What is that? A four cylinder. A four cylinder BMW type of vehicle up in here. And damn, that's a big engine bay for a small vehicle. This car ain't compensating for nothing, eh? So valve, whoa, valve cover goes on like that. It was like spamming in place up in here. So let's use the spanner again. And we see we got the bolts in place. Or they're already in place, I don't know. Oh, we do it on the top, but I believe we screw on the bottom, right? Or they're already screwed in, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, they're good. They're torqued down. So, five more to go. Give you guys a second. All right, cue the whistle sound. <laughs> so, we got four more to go, which is to torque the wheels by a tire pump at Cali Gas in town. 
and talked about Brother Francis and sold the wood to Francis. Which this chainsaw here, of course, will cut our trees down, which we could cut like right here in our backyard. Well, really on our backyard, these dead ass trees. Or some live trees right here, which I'll probably focus on the dead trees because, well, they're dead. So torquing the wheels. Yep, we got some loose ass bolts. That's not good. If you got loose bolts, then chances are your tire will fly off and have to call a tow truck. Wow, that was really a loose ass bolt right there. You seen that at the top? All right, drop this bad boy, E, and then just drop. Good. So by, let's first of all do the firewood here. So let's grab the chainsaw, hit E to use. We'll just turn it on. Yes, it does. It's kind of quiet, which that's kind of interesting for a chainsaw. And what do we got here? Uh, buggy packs. Hmm, okay. So we can build a buggy, I believe. And we got our wata right here. Can we cut our wata? You can't cut this. Duh. So let's cut this big boy down, which I believe it's a pine tree, so. That's a quiet chainsaw. I've never heard a chainsaw that quiet. Normally it'll give you like some ear rapey sound effects like Burr! like that, but I can't cut this. Oh, so they all split apart. Oh. That's cool. So we're done with the chainsaw, put this in our hands, well, really off our hands, and this in the back right here is our gas-powered wood cutter. So let's get the chainsaw back to, like, where we got it from. All right, so we got all the logs in check here, so let's see what we got here. Is it on... now it's on run. It was on off, so pull the cord. That's quiet, too. <laughs> so grab a log, put this on here. I said grab, goddammit. All right, grab a log. Good. Oh, you can see how it works here. It just pushes in and then out. That's cool. But there should be like a blade I could actually like running blade right here rather than just a silver triangular piece right here. Like it's a Roblox video game or something from like 2010. I'm not going to go too hard on him, but I get the point of how he's got the woodcutter in check. So no buttons, right? Just put in and there you go. That's cool. So do all this, get the truck, put all the wood on here, and sell this to Francis. And while we're at Francis' house, talk to him because, of course, it's part of the mission. Well, we're getting some log jam. Is it going to really jam up? No, it don't. So that is good. So shut this bad boy off. Kill switch. <laughs> that cycle goes for burp. And it shuts up right when you hit the kill switch to turn it off. All right, grab this here truck, which first of all, close the engine up because, well, we don't want any water or bad stuff to get in because, well, it ain't good. Close it on up and get this here truck, our wannabe C10, old ass S10 GMC type of truck. So get in, close the door, and looks like it's in manual, so we're in neutral, so start her up. Nice. All right, parking brake, release the parking brake, and upshift. Yep, we got the parking brake out, so reverse this bad boy and get the truck right by the woodcutter so we can load this boy up. Uh, put it right, right here. Stop with a neutral and put the parking brake in. And let's just get out with the engine running. I don't even care. Uh, handle, seat, and then load her on up. So wood, can we chuck the wood? Oh yeah, we can chuck the wood with the triangle button on my controller, which is basically the right click button, and... What is this right here? We got the... the hoist puller. Isn't this thing like some sort of like, get your vehicle unstuck type of thing, where you're like, you're stuck or something, and you grab this like, anchored somewhere, and forcefully pull the truck up, because I seen how it worked when it was first released and first played by some creators online on YouTube. So make these sick-ass jump shots. <laughs> Make him take the frickin' three-point contest up in here. Chuck the wood like so. We got three to go. Next one, jump. <laughs> Goddamn stuff Curry up in here, man. We'll get that. We'll get that. Two more to go. All right. Good. One more. Money ball. Or money wood. There. Done. So, all clean. All clear. Right bile spun to change the plate. What? Hold on. We got the Quebec license plate. Goat. Brap. Sapode. Jyolda, coin, machine, 420, 420, please, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69
Are you a crack, dude? So let's just YOLO and get out of here. So first gear, release the parking brake, and go. So where to? Where do we go for Francis' house? So upshift and not over rev the engine as so. If I'm certain, I believe Francis' house is like pretty much like a drop-off somewhere. It's off to my left. It's like a big drop-off for his driveway, which we can drive down here for some time, and it should be to my left. And now I have for this truck, we're at two... Whoa, 200,000 kilometers driven for this type of truck. Not too bad. And over revving, over shooting that corner. French slur. Uh, stop here. Did we lose the load? I swear to God, man. Off to a great start and I can't drive a truck. Yes, we did. Oh, yes, we did. Well, luckily they haven't gone off. Uh, no, that one's gone off the cliff, but not these right here, not the others, so that's, that's, that's good. Good and bad, well, the good, we didn't lose, like, any load, like, way down there. The bad thing is, I crashed the truck for the first time, like, ran off the road, not, like, crash it, crash it. If so, then I suck at driving.com. Yeah, this is our only piece of wood, no, two pieces of wood are down here, oh, crap. And we're running up the mountain like it's freaking Skyrim. Jeez, man. We're on the sides of cliffs, mountains. Look at this. Look at this. Watch. Right here. This looks like a six degree incline. Run. <laughs> Damn, I love this game. So I don't see any more wood. Good. So get back in the truck and drive slowly. I don't care how long it takes. Just drive slowly. And we're on to paved roads. So we're not going to Francis' house. We're going into town up in here at whatever that was max speed 70 kilometers per hour we're doing 40 well we're on another dirt road is this the way to go or no we did a we did a circle there's my house <laughs> we did a freaking circle around this premises so pull over let me see the map we did a goddamn circle up in here man is it a left or what so this is my first left turn down that road where my house is at so see if it's down here if not then god damn it well, it appears we're coming back into town. Let me look this up. All right, so what I looked at on my map here, the Roy route to whatever this is, is by a home. And this bridge right here, well, excuse me. So this bridge here, if I go straight just to Tad Bore, I believe this is Francis' house just up ahead. So let me see here. If I'm right, then that's great. If I'm wrong, then I'm stupid. I mean, you got these sharp cutoffs right here of the freaking side of the cliff here and this here river, lake, whatever we got here, and there's my house again. Yay, my house. Five minutes later. All right, see the house right now, so it's gonna be to my left, so I was really missing out quite a lot on where his damn house is at. So make a left-hand corner, and what is this green marker here? So isn't this where we sell the wood? So let me pull up a little bit more, and then place firewood here to sell. So, oh, we gotta back the truck up, so... Francis, tear up your yard. I'm gonna be sorry. So, make a three-point turn. Back up way here. Stop. Go forward as so. Really do a burnout. And then, well, neutral because, well, it's a manual truck. Who cares? So, watch the wood all go bye-bye once we sell. So, here we go. Here we go. Wood goes... That, I believe. So, $70. $74. So $84 we got from selling the firewood, not too bad, which gives us a total of $184. So shut the car off, or the truck off, and talk to my boy Francis. So what do we got here? So my boy Francis, we got... What the hell are these stairs? You got... It's a rough ass stair animation we got here, and my boy Francis, he's got no face. Yeah, how it going? Gosh, I hate cut firewood so much. Yeah, I agree, man. And I believe the last thing we have to do is buy a uh, bike pump or a car tire pump. I'm stupid. So going to town shouldn't be much of a problem. So check out the map again. We got a boy Francis. So drive down straight and make a left down the curvy ass main road. So should be not a big problem. So accelerate and get back on the road and get you to the Holy red line. All right, take you to the store and buy the bike pump. Hopefully, it's not gonna be closed. It's 1706, 1707 right now. So, time's going quite quickly, and it's a 24 hour time. We're back in the dirt road. Well, if you excuse me, we'll back it up out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna try making a right, I believe, or what? What was that one road? Got another dirt road that's not gonna be a dirt road. It should be a main paved road because, well, we're in civilization. Here we go. We're in a little village up in here. We got 50 kilometers. Screw you, boy. We got some houses up in here, a church, some, oh, more detailed cells compared to last time. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Got a stop sign. 
roll through there like a freaking Californian center de decoration. They say that in French. So where the hell is a gas station? I'm in the right part of town or what? We got ourselves a quarter tank of gas, unleaded fuel only. Okay, put unleaded fuel once we get there. We got a freaking fence dead straight ahead. So where are we going? We got some freaking uh, residential roads up in here. So <laughs> give me a minute, folks. Oh, no, that's not a wall. That's a freaking side of a building. Oh, gas station right here to my right. So wait, the thing is to my left, right? Where's my cap? Where you at? Caps to my left. Well, turn this around. <laughs> Turn this bad boy around, do a awkward ass three point turn just to get to the gas pump and wait, nobody's in here. Nobody is in here. We got handle locked. We're an hour late. We got Lundy, Marty, Mercedes, Julie, Verdretti, Samdi, and Demanche. So we're an hour late. And we have a freaking bite server car moment where I'm like dying up in here trying to get back home and I'm stranded. Well, we gotta conserve our fuel. Hope we know where I'm going. Yeah, so next time, once I get to the stop sign right there, where that little decoration, whatever store is at there, make a left to the gas station. Would it save me some time? I'd possibly had a chance to get in the gas station and buy whatever I need, but, well, we're too late. Okay, come back home, go to sleep, and do the same thing in the morning. All right, went past Francis' house, so the house, our house, should be coming up in just a second. All right, here we are. Go and break, go to second gear, to first gear, pull up as so, and... Brake, neutral, park and brake, turn off the lights, and shut off the truck, get on out of here. And close the freaking shack door, got nobody want to break in this son of a bitch. And now let's turn on the generator for the first time at night. Nice. And we got a single light on right here, that is our outdoor light, okay. And where is the lights here? Nice, we got some power, so we need maple syrup. Gonna get another light going on here, where's the kitchen light? Right by the stove. Not the best. And goddamn, we got like a shadow gap up in here. Is this realistic? And mother, 555-2109. Five, 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 oh, well, first thing we need, poutine. Good. And check out the maple syrup. Drink that maple syrup. Not too bad. And now let's check out the computer. So power button and sit down. An old ass freaking Windows 95 computer, man. Beep. Yep. Energy star. <laughs> Just like old times. And what is this, the Windows XP logo or something? I mean, that's a save, so what do we got here for saving? Dial-up. <laughs> yeah, so back in the day, in kindergarten, I once used a Windows 95 computer, and then jumped out over to Windows XP for like, 6th, 7th grade or whatever, to where you made the jump to Windows 7, and holy crap, everything's going up, and then the jump to Windows 10, right before I graduated high school, so... Game saved, it's 1 in the morning, shut down. Alright, the course. Apologies for my bad French. So every American is, right? <laughs> Weed grinder. Dude, you gotta sit down and roll joints. Well, we're really crying to maple syrup. Use this again. Turn off the lights, conserve our electricity up in here, and he couldn't the freaking kitchen light. And walk out over to bed, and go to sleep, cuh. <sighs> I know, right? Chill, you just slept. I was about to wake myself up, so it's about 12 o'clock at noon. Generator's still going off, so that's good. I don't know how I can check the fuel and everything, so let's shut off the generator and... Oh man, that might be our fuel right there, so... Gonna buy some gas. Gas for the truck, and gas for the generator. So, first thing, sir, so check the wood chucker right here. What's our gas level? Eh, good amount of gas. We're okay. As long as it's off and not running, we should be good. And now, start the truck up, get to the store, and get the pump. Okay, you can listen to the radio in your car with the FM CD player and power volume. Just in case we get a copyright music, which I kind of doubt about this, despite being a single indie developer. Probably have his own music, or just music that he just got for free or whatever, like a non copyrighted music. And there's the bridge, should be the main road, it's just a little bit down the road. Including our boy Francis right here, which... I don't know how I'd ever seen that earlier. Driving on this road, I drove down here like two or three times, I'd never seen the house. So jump on the main road, boom, there goes the main road, and just keep on going. Hello, Mr. Wood Turbides, how you like that free energy? Not free energy, but that renewable energy. I was supposed to turn on the freaking thingamajig, that road back there. This is, what, the second time doing this? This dumb mistake. All right, we're going to conserve the fuel. We're a couple notches out, probably like one-eighth of a gallon right now, so right turn. I will use my turn signals. Well, you need turn signals anyways, it's a freaking video game. Yeah, so remember, this is the road that should lead you to town. If not, then what else can you do about me playing this game? Not knowing directions, not knowing landmarks. All right, back into town, find the little store up ahead that's a little freaking grocery or... Oh, it's a grocery store. It's a sort of like decor store, whatever they call it. And we got a person. 
Hello, Mr. Person. Wait, can I talk to him? Let's see. Break, break, break. Engine break. Hey. Hey, brother. How to do it, man? Mr. Bajor. Hey, Bajor. What's up with me, Mr. Bajor? Well, I don't care. Let's get out of here. And go to the gas station as so at $1,300 and watch the pumps. <laughs> I swear if you slam the pumps, it causes this vehicle to go ablaze and everything, so... Buy the gas, get the pump, and... Should've bought the fuel cap, God damn it. So, regular gas. Well, first I gotta undo the fuel cap. Ew, disgusting! You can't use peasant fuel! What, so you're the super gas lovers or something? So unscrew the fuel cap. So use super fuel. Okay. I know I could use hit the E button on my controller, which... I don't know what I could do, and... Okay, it's automatically deducted, so... Is that the gas, like, kind of leaking through the, the truck? As you can see here, the stream, or what? Let's put... Mm, do 30 bucks a gallon. 30 bucks. And... Close enough. 30.09. That's good. Now let's see. Okay, here, we got two guys. Okay, two guys are on a store here, so open our up. And close our up. So, what do we got here? My boy Jacquez and Norman. Norman, the guy in the corner. What to do? You're really talking to me about the racetrack. Jacquez, good to see you. Don't forget to take some maple syrup. Well, I'll do so sooner or later. And coffee. Nah, now. No. I'm good on energy right now. And we got ourselves a tire pump. Yeah, I add. I gotta breach through the goddamn door. Yeah, I gotta breach through the door. <laughs> well, I'll just leave the door open and just place this in the back. Boom. It didn't make a sound. That's great. So $109.92 left to go. What else could we get without spending too much money? We got a lot of rust, so we might as well take that, but we'll do that a little bit later. Brake rotor. Cheap brake rotors, calipers, pretty expensive, and harvest bucket, or basket. Well, let's take the gamble, buy the rust repair kit, and get on back to our house, fill the tire pump, and see if we could use the rust kit to at least make the car look a little better. Tuned wheels, $600? Well, you don't got enough money here, man. <laughs> not right now, but we're not cheap, and tire changer. A racing engine. Yes. Damn it. Well, see you guys, heading you back to the house. Which I should now get the idea on where to go to go back to the house. Did a stop sign just ruin my career? Hold on a second. What the hell was that? The, the, I think the stop sign was ruining my career so I couldn't cut over. My dumbass about redlining the engine right there. So park around up and fix the freaking BMW. Alright, Mr. Tire Pump, so hit E to use, and we got the tire at uh, 20 PSI. How do I do this? Left click? Just hold it down. Okay, so let's get around 35-ish. It should be a healthy PSI number, and really raising the car up. 30, and one more. Can I bleed out? Whoa, really bleeding out. Alright, good. 35 right there, and this boy at a 21, 22, it seems like. Can you zoom? Oh yeah, really good, good, good detail right there. <laughs> Alright, 35. This is also 35, not to be like a perfectionist or nothing, and... No. There we go. Now at 35. That was an instant PSI loss by just tapping on the freaking triangle bud just like that. So, 35, 35, 35. All 35s are on all four corners, all four tires, and we should be good to go, right? There, 35. One more to go. This looks pretty flat. Oh, wow. We got, uh, 11 PSI. That ain't good. So we don't have to aim at the valve stem, just aim at the rim, aim at the car tire, and you're just pumping up just as so. Boom. All 35s, all four corners of the car, so that's that's good. And for the rust repair kit, we got a lot of rust everywhere, isn't it? Believe it or the hood, either replace that or could we fix that? I don't know. Let's see, rust repair kit. How do I do this? Did I waste my money? Okay, we did that. Oh, so we did the freaking bottom of the car, but not the top. Okay, that's a little better, but not the best, but I can live with that. So we got the debut to-do list all done. How about the intermediate? A good friendship with Francis, complete the garage, buy the cottage to get more land, exit the scrapyard, install a manual transmission, buy a small aluminum trailer, connect your house to the grid power. So we don't have to no longer use the generator. And gas can, water can. So gas can while I'm at it, let's put this back in the truck in the next video. Fill the sun up, fill the generator, fill whatever we need, and probably this car. Does this car start up or no? So we got an auto transmission. Okay, ignition. Okay, good. The car works. That's good. At, at 300,000 kilometers. Damn. Not a lot of fuel, so we got 15 liters, probably, of fuel, so... I'm guessing it looks like we're at a 12. Not too bad. Let's take a test drive of this car, and... Damn, the lighting has changed, huh? Give you a look at this. Yeah, that lighting has hella changed. But real quick, get rid of the parking brake, put this in drive, and take a test drive of this vehicle, see how it performs. So, accelerate as so. 
seems okay for right now, and hella drifted left to right, so cars drive pretty straight, pretty slow at a 70 kilometers per hour. Who's this just do to drive us around a block, basically, and then end the video off? All right, rip this bad boy around, e-brake turn. Was that an e-brake turn? Yes, it is. A circle button on my controller. Go back to the house and then prepare to end the video off. And I don't want to drive this car for all too long because we're less than 10 liters of fuel, which I believe it is liters, if I'm right. Can I drift this? Drift. Yeah! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> don't get too cocky. All right, park her up. Let's end the video off right here, folks. Well, so that'll do it with Mon Bazoo, aka the Canadian My Summer Car. Well, just first impressions of this game, it is pretty interesting of a game, so with building a car, it's pretty much just as simple. Just fix the tire, put her on up, put the edge cover in, and just go from there. On top of filling up your tires to whatever PSI that you need and whatever. But with this car, it is pretty slow, but hopefully later down the road, we'll make this a little bit quicker, faster, and everyone else in general. So it's not some like old school, slow ass piece of crap car like what it is right now and also let me know down below if i should continue this series off for the future and for those who are interested in this type of content please be sure to like and subscribe so you'll miss out on any videos like this in the future and also check out my social media down in the description below so this is tries rising up and signing out